season so far. So today I'm gonna to be sharing five different spring and summer drink ideas. I have a lavender lemonade. I also have a hibiscus strawberry drink, which is so yummy. And of course I have some coffee recipes as well. So if you're a fellow coffee lover like me, I got you covered. And just so you know, I will have all the ingredients as well as the directions for each recipe in the description. So you can easily screenshot it and follow along with that. Or before you go grocery shopping, screenshot the ingredients so you have everything you need to make these drinks. But without further ado, I really hope you enjoy. up we have a lavender lemonade and this recipe is inspired by the cookierookie.com and I feel like this is just such a springtime staple so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you are going to take your water and sugar and honey and dried lavender and you're gonna put it in a saucepan and we're gonna let it steep <music> ended up adding in some sprinkles and mushed up blackberry to my little lavender mixture while it was on the saucepan because I wanted that kind of more purpley color to really show. So you can do this with food coloring or if you have any blueberries or blackberries or sprinkles in your house, you can use that for some alternative food coloring to just make your lemonade pop. So that's what I ended up doing and you're just going to allow the mixture to steep for up to two hours and of course the longer you let it steep for the stronger the lavender will be in your lemonade again beside the stream. then you walk past me and you saw me and smile Once the two hours has passed, you're gonna wanna strain this mixture. So you can take a little mesh strainer and then pour it over some kind of glass or measuring cup and you can just discard the dried lavender and then take the liquid part and combine it with your freshly squeezed lemon juice and water. When I saw you, I thought I lost my mind. Blue and faded woods blown away and left behind I hope you'll always be around even if I fail you are like a summer breeze that I must inhale is it Top it all off, you can serve over ice with a cute little lavender infused lemon slice. Loving you has never felt more right. Woke up lonely, and for you, there is nothing in this world. I would We have a honey coconut latte and honey and coconut are truly two of my favorite flavors so I really wanted to combine the two and they really complement each other nicely and I really love just coconut flavor this time of year and then honey is such a beautiful spring flavor so combining them just really creates kind of a tropical and spring drink so I really love this one and it's super simple so all you're gonna do is squeeze some honey over some crushed ice and then pour your milk your creamer and your coconut in some kind of cup that you can froth and stir them together and I love to use this coconut cream creamer from Califia Farms because it just has a really nice flavor to it and of course I love to use coconut milk as well because that just enhances the coconut flavor opposed to any other milk so that's a great option and so you're just gonna pour your mixture 
And then you're also going to pour some coconut syrup in a cup. And you can make homemade coconut syrup, but I actually just purchased this bottle of coconut syrup and it is so delicious. So it's kind of taking the shortcut, but I love to have that option. And then you're going to take your coconut mixture and your coconut milk and pour it over ice and then brew some espresso or you could sub with some strong brewed coffee or cold brew. And you're going to pour it all in your glass and enjoy. we have our strawberry hibiscus coconut tea and this recipe is inspired by the supermomlife.com and it's also inspired by the starbucks pink drink so if you've heard of the starbucks pink drink this is kind of a copycat recipe for that so you're going to take your strawberries and slice them up and some coconut milk and water and then we're also going to use the starbucks via instant refresher very very hibiscus powder so this is a pre-made powder and you can find it at your grocery store. I actually found it at Target. So in itself, this is a really easy drink, but we kind of add a bit more flair with the fresh strawberries and coconut milk. So you're gonna add all the ingredients into a blender and just blend until combined. And you're gonna save some sliced strawberries for the end to garnish the drink. And then you just simply pour it over ice and it's super delicious and refreshing and kind of more of a unique drink. have our lavender latte and lavender lattes are truly one of my favorite flavors and I love to combine lavender and vanilla so I have this recipe inspired by howsweeteats.com and we're actually going to be making a homemade lavender vanilla syrup so it does take a little longer and if you would rather you can just purchase a bottle of lavender syrup but if you want to make your own you can combine one fourth cup of sugar, one fourth cup of water, a teaspoon of dried lavender, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a splash of vanilla syrup. And we're just gonna let that steep on the stove for a bit and then pour it over our mesh strainer, similar to the lemonade recipe. And once you have your syrup, you can actually keep this in the fridge for up to two weeks. So you can keep reusing it. So I'm gonna take my coconut milk and pour it over ice and then my espresso shot as well. in it with my lavender vanilla syrup. You can add as much syrup as you want. I definitely suggest just starting with a little bit and giving it a little taste and then add more if you want to. And to make this drink extra fun, I took some of my vanilla creamer and I frothed it just so that I could add that to the top and it was a bit thicker. And then I sprinkled a few dried lavender bits on top. Also, my puppy was watching while I made this whole drink, so he wanted to say hi. Okay, last drink is super, super simple, but definitely a staple in my household. And this is a Florida honey latte. And this drink is inspired by a local coffee shop. And this is truly one of my favorites to order. And I feel like the key to this recipe is some local Florida honey, but you can use whatever kind of honey that you have locally. So you're gonna squeeze some of the honey over ice. And then you're gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on top of that as well and add in your coconut milk. You can use any kind of milk you prefer, but if you can't tell, I just love coconut milk. So I pour that in and just give it a little stir. And then I brew up my espresso. You can use one or two shots of espresso, or again, you can sub with some strong brewed coffee or cold brew. And 
then I just pour this over my cinnamon and honey coconut milk mixture. And if you do try any of the recipes, definitely let me know, leave a comment, or tag me on Instagram. I always love to see your creations. But thank you guys so much again for watching, and cheers to a beautiful spring and summer season. Hey.